Hey everybody, I'm Lawson and I'm incredibly grateful that my mom made two pumpkin pies because I don't think I can just stop with one. You can stop with one. The other one is for dinner tomorrow. Oh. Well, thanks for those words of wisdom, Mom. Even though my stomach is now sad. Be right back. Anyway, I'm practicing gratitude, especially after an amazing story I heard from this girl, Ashanti, who's a friend of my cousin, Layla. Now, Ashanti and her older sister, Kendra, are going to drive way north of the city and hike on this incredible trail that Kendra discovered. And Ashanti knows it's gonna be the best day ever. But just as they're packing up to go, it starts to rain a lot for like 40 days and 40 nights. And Ashanti's like, no. The whole day is already messed up. But then Ashanti sneezes three times in a row. So loudly, the walls shake. Now they can't go hiking, plus Ashanti's getting sick. Kendra tries to cheer her up and says, hey, we can still make s'mores. And it's all going great until kablam! Ashanti tries to check it out. She gets hit with a puff of burnt marshmallow fluff. Ashanti is completely done with this day. She stares out the window, wondering how soon she can just go to bed. But then, Ashanti starts to notice something. The rain on the window looks really cool. She says, wow, it's like stained glass. Then Oreo, who's really Kendra's cat, comes up and curls up with Ashanti and purrs like a lion. And Kendra offers to teach Ashanti how to play chess, which Ashanti's been begging her to do for like three years. And pretty soon, Ashanti realizes that even though her day's not going to plan, she can still say, hey, thanks. Cause she's got a lot to be grateful for. So kids, never hike over Niagara Falls without a barrel. But do always remember that gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you. Let's go! Uh oh. Tissues on the counter, throw drops in the cabinet. Thanks, Mom. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go! Let's go! Oh no, you're not Mom! Mom!